Hey guys, how's it going? It's James here. Thanks for uh, stopping by today. And uh, today's game is going to be Contra 3, The Alien Wars on the Super Nintendo uh, by Konami. So this game came out in uh, 1992 and it confused me quite a lot to be honest. Because uh, it was released uh, in Japan as Contra Spirits. Uh, the UK, or Europe, got it as Super Probotector Alien Rebels. And then, here in America, it came out as Contra 3, The Alien Wars. So, uh, you can imagine little James was uh, reading uh, Mean Machines and uh, computer and video games magazines and seeing Contra 3, and then trying to find it in the stores, uh, only to find Probotector, which looked similar. Uh, but it wasn't, uh, you know, but it was the same game. So, uh, <laughs> uh, cause I basically, I just think they replaced the, uh, the two characters, uh, from Contra with, uh, either their guys in robot suits or, uh, the robots. I don't, I don't remember, but I did play a lot of this back in the day, uh, and I played some other, uh, Contra games, uh, you know, and I loved them a bit. So uh, I was really keen to get this, and when I eventually did, you know, it didn't disappoint. The uh, you know I do love the running gun games, and as I've mentioned on the channel before, I'm not that good at them, but I just uh, I just love them. You know, it's uh, it's one of those things. It's kind of you know uh, I stink at them. I shouldn't be playing them. No real business playing them, but they uh, they give me fun. So what the hell? I'll, I'll play them. And, uh, again, this is one that I haven't finished, but I do plan on uh, spending more time with this. Because uh, I feel, you know, I could probably get through it if I stick with it. Uh, but it is, uh, you know, there's some set pieces in this. Some of the boss fights are just, uh, they're, they're really good, you know. And the game still holds up graphically for me to this day, you know. I just uh, like the way it looks. It's kind of fast-paced. And running guns for me are just always fun. So uh, I think I'm just going to play through. Uh, I took the extra credits and the extra life. So, uh, and we'll crack it to easy. So that I hopefully can show you guys some, uh, you know, a, a decent amount of footage. Uh, and one of the things I did notice that I forgot a bit on this was the, uh, between some of the levels, they do switch to like a top down view. And then you use the L and R buttons and the controller just to kind of spin the screen, which, you know, it's uh, fancy mode 7 stuff that they're doing there. Uh, but yeah, after I did the first level and I hopped into level 2, uh, it took me a minute to, like, adjust, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, yeah, a little bit of variety with the gameplay is always good. It kind of reminds me of Thunder Force a little bit, uh, you know, when it goes between the top down and the side scrolling, so... Uh, it's, it's never a bad thing. I, I don't uh, mind that too much. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this anyway. Uh, it's just uh, a fun game. And if you excuse the pun, it is a blast. So, <laughs> uh, so hope you guys enjoy this uh, as always. Uh, if you want to leave any comments or like, uh, it's always appreciated. So uh, yeah, enjoy the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.